Hey everybody, I'm here with Harry today. We're going to walk you through all the functionality and added features of the Brutal Gear IWOM XT. Harry's going to start out, he has it in the fanny pack mode like you'd be walking into the woods, very lightweight so you don't get sweaty. He's going to convert it into the parka system, show you how the safety harness fits through the back slot, and then how to get up in your stand or in your blind and deploy the garment. Harry. And we always suggest what Harry's doing, that waist belt, it has its own little integrated pockets. Make sure you roll those up, it only takes a couple seconds. Put those away, that way two things, you're not stepping on them and breaking the snap and also they're not dangling down and touching your stand and making any noise. pull it out of its integrated pocket. We just hold it out in front of us and we, most of the time we're putting it on like a pullover. As you'll see what Harry's doing, the best way to really get into the garment is you put one arm in, get that arm situated, and then your other arm in and then throw it up over your head. Now at this point, what you want to do is you want to let the garment fall down to your feet so it gets situated on your upper body. And it's, it's, it's very comfortable on your upper body. That way when you climb up in your standard location, when you go to the ploy, it's where it needs to be. Harry's also going to show you that once you get the garment on, how to employ the safety harness through the back hole between the shoulders. Basically, you have your tether strap laying in front of you like this. You pull it up over your head, get your hands through there. Just pull it back through nice and simple. That way, once you get up in your stand, the first thing you want to do is tether off before you deploy the garment. Now Harry's going to lift it back up and go into park a position. The waist belt tightens up around your waist. You really want to make sure the things around your waist and up above the small of your back so it doesn't ride down over your butt as you're walking. Now at this point, you just pull the garment down, you've got an instant parka, lays nice and flat. You can hunt out of it like that, or again, Harry's going to show you whether you're crawling in your ground blind or getting up into a tree stand, how simple it is to get up there and deploy it. Once you're up and once you're tethered in, then you want to go through the act of deploying it. You just pull in the tether, pops the snap open, open up the zipper all the way and just let it fall to your feet. Sit down. You notice how Harry did that? It's an act of lifting your feet quickly, forward and up, and the fan will just flies up, feet back down, falls right into position. And with the eye wand, it's just as easy to get down out of your stand as it is to get in. And as you can see, even with some of those smaller platforms, the IWAM really works well. And Harry's going to demonstrate how you just get out of the stand with it. You go back up into park position. So another nice feature of the IWOM is what we call the freedom mode. In your garment, there'll be two small pockets under each arm. Both of those house a strap system. What this allows you to do is when you're going to be really mobile, when, but you don't want to take the garment off fully off your body, you can zipper it down, take it off your, off your upper body, off your shoulders, and secure it around your waist completely. That way it's really nice if you really want to change location, quickly or if you're walking and you come to a ridge and you got to go up that ridge 
get that garment off your upper body so you don't get real sweaty like you would with a conventional jacket. And then once you get to your location, it easily snaps and you're right back into the parking position. Parking. The IWAM's not cut like a conventional jacket. It's, its sleeves come way down into your waist to help the heat transfer from your body to your arms. So it creates a flatter surface area. So what we do for archery, we've actually, we eliminate our wrist guard by, by twisting the garment, twisting the fabric, which makes the fabric lay close to the, the forearm. And then as you can see, as area stretches out, as that flatness, you don't even need an arm guard in that. It's just a very nice feature for the archery hunter. Some of the nice added features with the IWAM XT Brutal Gear series is the integrated wrist gaiters. The integrated hand warmer pocket. We also have an integrated face mask and head net. And we wanted to point out a few functions with our head net because it is multifunctional. It's built big enough that if you are wearing a hat, you can wear it over your hat. If you don't have a hat on, you can tighten it in the back with a draw cord to your head. It also, it's, it's big enough that if you want to pull it down, expose your full face. And with your, if you wear glasses so you don't get fogged up or if you like to feel your face when you shoot your bow. It also, you can wear it like a half mask. And then also you can push it down and wear it like a neck gaiter as well. Either way, it all keeps the cold air from going down into your body. Another nice feature about the head net, it comes with a cutout here at your ear. It's micro fleece lined to give some warmth to your ears, but also it just does not stop, stop the sound penetration. So you can still hear everything, but you got a little bit of warmth there as well. The IWOM also comes with a waterproof rain hood. A couple nice features about the rain hood, it has a stiff bill of just in case you're not wearing a hat, keeps it up off your head. And the, and the really nice thing about it, it's not like a conventional hood where it can block your peripheral vision. It's cut way back here to where you don't have to keep moving your head to see. The IWOM also comes with some really neat uh, pockets. It has its largest kangaroo pocket. It's very deep, very big, can hold a lot of gear. Two deep chest pockets and two pass-through pockets on the side. So you have a pocket, then you can also pass through into your, into your pants as well. The IWOM also comes with a relief zipper so you can relieve yourself when to stand. Now once on the ground, if you're ready to, to get out of the woods, it's very simple to just drop the IWOM down, push it, off your up, push it completely off your body, and roll it up into the fanny pack mode. Rolling up the IWAM is very simple. Just hold it up, throw the sleeves in, just start rolling it. Once you get to the bottom, flip it over. Here's the bottom panel. Behind the bottom panel is a stretch pouch. You just grab that, get it started on one end, push it into the other. Very simple. Pull your belts out. ready to go. I want to talk about the bottom panel a little bit. The bottom panel has two layers of very tough Cordura with insulation in between to keep a separation between your feet and the stand or the ground. Uh, the bottom panel is, is very flat and big so you're standing on a flat surface like you would be with your tree stand and it actually floats with your feet as you move. You can do a complete 360 in this garment up in the stand. Another the nice feature about the bottom panel, the whole interior is rubberized. That way if your feet are wet or muddy, you don't have to keep washing the IWAM when you get back home. You just leave, open this up, let it air out, and brush it off once it's dry. Washing instructions for the IWAM, the first thing you want to do 
it has a removable hand warmer pocket. So it's velcroed and snapped in there. So you just want to pull the velcro and pop the snaps. And make sure you do this because it is so well insulated, it's not going to dry as fast as the rest of the garment. So you want to take that out, turn the whole unit inside out, throw them both in the washing machine together, wash them, and then again, what we suggest is if you, if you have the time, throw it up over the shower curtain or hang it somewhere outside and let it air dry and drip dry for about a day to two days. If it's outside in the air and got a wind, it will be dry in a day. If it's inside and you have to let it hang dry, it takes about two days. Um, if you do ever throw it in a dryer, it has to be on tumble dry low. Uh, if you do not do it on tumble dry low, you void your warranty because what it will do if it gets too high of heat, every, every uh, seam on this garment is taped and you could release that tape making it not waterproof anymore. Replacing the hand warmer pocket after washing, just grab it like this, get it through, get in the other side, pull it into the pocket area, and you'll see inside, you open up the inside, there's a snap that lines up the, lines it up. There's the snap, I snap those two together. I know it's straight in there. And then you just start working the Velcro together. Try not to get it bunched up. You just keep working it around. Bang. And pull it, I always pull it out a little bit so I know it's completely circular. And there you have it. So the other thing we suggest is we spec the weight, the waist belt pretty as a pretty rugged strap. So we always tell everybody to loosen that up. That way, when you get out to the field, it's, it's the adjustment goes a lot smoother and it's very simple. You just want to grab the strap. I put my thumb in here. This is how I do it out in the field as well. And I just use this. Just pull that over like 15 to 20 times to loosen that up. That way, when you first get out in the field with it, it goes pretty smoothly. If the strap would twist on you, this buckle is removable. You can pop that out and then replace it once you lay it in there flat. So guys, there's you have it in a nutshell. The IWAM is just a phenomenal piece of equipment. It's uh, very functional, very easy. Once you get the system down, there's nothing like it in the industry. IWAM outerwear is the king of cold weather.